How's it going car people? It's Lucas here back with another car review. Today I present to you this 2016 Ford Mustang EcoBoost. As always, I will start it up, show you the engine, as well as show you around the interior and the exterior of the car. So, here's the key fob. Lock, unlock, trunk release, and panic. So, let's go ahead and get started. If you unlock the car, then hold down the unlock button, you can actually roll down both of the windows at the same time. Unfortunately, you cannot roll the windows back up from the key fob, so you'll have to go to the interior to roll them up. A smart key access system is standard on the 6th generation Mustang, via the rib patterns located on both of the door handles. To use it, just make sure you have the key fob on you, say in your pocket. As you can see, the car is currently unlocked. To lock it, just touch the rib portion. And to unlock it, just touch behind the handle. Also, upon opening the door, the windows will drop down a little bit to clear the door frame because they are frameless. This Mustang is finished off in a magnetic gray metallic exterior and comes paired with the ebony leather interior, as well as a 6-speed manual transmission with an aftermarket Ford Performance Shift knob. This particular Mustang is also an American spec model, as you can see with the speedometer being in miles an hour. Along with the Smart Key Access System, Push Button Start is standard on the 6th generation Mustang, with the button being located in the center stack, and in the case of this particular model, under the red cap. So to start it, just make sure the key fob is inside the car, put your foot on the clutch, then flip up the cap, and hit the button to start. The button is also highlighted in red. The Ford Mustang is a series of American automobiles produced by Ford. It started production in 1964 for the 1965 model year and is currently the longest produced Ford car nameplate. The Mustang has seen six generations since its launch, with the sixth being in production since July 2014 for the 2015 model year. On November 17, 2019, Ford announced an electric SUV version of the Mustang called the Mustang Mach-E which made its first appearance at the 2019 Los Angeles Auto Show and started production last year. The start of production for the 6th generation Mustang marked the 50th anniversary of the Mustang's continuous production. It received a facelift for the 2018 model year, which included a slight redesign and a revised engine lineup. There were five models of the 6th generation Mustang available from launch. V6, EcoBoost as seen here, GT, Shelby GT350, and the Shelby GT350R. The V6 was discontinued after the 2017 model year along with the engine being dropped. In 2020, the Shelby GT500, the more powerful version of the GT350, was introduced. On the exterior of this Mustang EcoBoost, you'll find projector headlights, LED daytime running lights, front fog lights, Mustang badges on the front fenders, body color door handles, LED tail lights, a backup camera, dual exit exhausts, and 19-inch 5 double-spoke alloy wheels on Kumo L-Raft, 25540 R19 tires. Aftermarket additions on this Mustang include a boosted badge on the front grille, Mustang stickers on the front fenders, and carbon fiber wrapped side mirrors and fuel door with a Roush logo. The Mustang EcoBoost is powered by a 2.3 liter, dual overhead cams, 16 valves, turbocharged inline 4 cylinder engine. It produces 310 horsepower at 5500 RPM and 320 pound feet of torque at 3000 RPM. It does 0 to 100 kilometers an hour or 0 to 62 miles an hour in 5.2 seconds and has a top speed of 257 kilometers an hour or 160 miles an hour. With a 59 liter or 15.6 gallon fuel tank, estimated fuel economy for this particular model here in liters per 100 kilometers is 10.7 city, 7.6 highway, and 9.4 combined. In miles per gallon, that is 22 city, 31 highway, and 25 combined. The Mustang is rear wheel drive. Yeah. 
This Mustang comes with an 8-way adjustable driver's seat with power slide, height adjustment, and lumbar, manual recline, and 3-person memory settings. The door panels are leather padded with storage down below, your power windows, locks, and mirrors, chrome interior door handles, and a chrome accented speaker. You have Mustang door sills and aftermarket all-weather floor mats. So let's do a few revs and see how it sounds. Dual zone automatic climate control, fan speed, temperature settings for the driver and passenger, front and rear defrost, AC, recycling, very easy to use, tri-stage heated and cooled seats for the driver and passenger, the home screen of the infotainment screen, you can see the device currently connected to the Bluetooth system, some navigation info, climate info, audio info, like what song is currently playing, you can select them all individually and control them a little more in depth. Here's the map. Device currently connected. You can see some vehicle info, like services, see a calendar, apps, your location, stuff like that. And then we've got some of the vehicle settings like clock, outside temperature, format, as well as sound settings, general vehicle settings, and all of that. Overall pretty easy to use carbon fiber trim going down the center stack. Here we got an oil pressure gauge as well as a boost gauge. Power button for the radio, seat track buttons, eject buttons, stuff like that. Volume knob, tuning knob, and some very nice aluminum trim. Hazards, traction control on and off, different steering modes. You've got normal, comfort, and sport. You can switch between them all right there, as well as the different driving modes. You've also got normal, sport, and comfort. Chrome accenting. As already shown, this one is the six-speed manual. For reverse, pull this tab under the shifter, push all the way to the left and up. You do have a backup camera with guidance lines, as well as you can turn on and off the rear parking sensors. Very nice. Here's your e-brake. Chrome accented cup holders. Little storage. USB input and everything like that. Glove box. Coyote Performance Pack badge, more of the fake carbon fiber trim going across the dash, three-spoke design steering wheel, nice and fluid, sport grips, all of your different controls on the steering wheel, from audio, Bluetooth phone, voice recognition, cruise control, and all of the controls for the menu on the gauge cluster. You can see all sorts of different info, fuel history, fuel economy, as well as different trip meters, You can see some of the driver assistances as well as the settings. You have the display set up. If you go to my color, you can change the color of this vehicle's ambient lighting as well as adjust the brightness. Tachometer, engine temperature gauge, speedometer, fuel gauge. The display also displays the odometer. This one has 56,000 kilometers on it. Sun visor with vanity mirror and lights. Garage home link as well. Auto dimming rearview mirror, front interior lights. All right, so let's go ahead and shut it down and we'll check out the back seat. To get into the back seat, pull a lever behind the seat 
then it will flip forward, and then to slide the seat forward, you use the power slide. Now obviously, the driver's seat is currently slid farther forward, but the passenger seat is quite a bit farther back, and you can see I would not have a lot of room back there. I'm just over six feet tall, by the way. I do not have much headroom, though. As you can see, my head is pretty much against the headliner right now, so I would definitely not recommend to all people to sit back here. You do have storage pockets on the backs of the seats, though. But that's pretty much it. It is a basic back seat, although you do have coat hooks on the backs of the headrests. All right, so let's go ahead and check out trunk space. Trunk space in the Mustang Coupe is 13.5 cubic feet. However, you can fold down the rear seats to expand cargo space a decent amount. Inside the trunk, you'll find aftermarket Mustang floor mats also found up front, the vehicle's subwoofer, storage under the trunk floor with some roadside assistance gear, and the emergency release required on all US spec vehicles by law. Alright, and that is going to wrap up the review on the 2016 Ford Mustang EcoBoost. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.